Well, hey everybody, today we're going to be checking out the new Lionel Lion Chief Plus 2.0 Alaska Railroad 060T steam locomotive. That was a mouthful. It was offered in Lionel's 2022 Volume 2 catalog, and it arrived just a couple weeks ago here in August of 2023, and it might just be the most adorable locomotive I've ever seen in my entire life, coming up right now on Eric's Trains. All right, I'm so excited to finally have one of these. So, model number 2332020, Alaska Railroad, Lion Chief Plus 2.0, 060T, number one, and an OBS date basically on the water date of May 9th, 2023. And for today's unboxing from my knife collection, we'll be using this guy. This is a Cold Steel Survival Edge. Kind of a neat little... Rambo style knife with a survival kit in the handle. <laughs> anyway, now this is not a brand new model for Lionel, they've done it before, but this is the first time I've gotten one of these. Super stoked. There's the box tag. Alaska Railroad, Line Chief Plus 2.0, 060T number one. For ages 14 to adult. So if you're 13, sorry. There's the instruction manual. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. That looks fantastic. Let's get it on the way out. Yeah, so just in case you missed it in the intro, Lionel offered these in their 2022 Volume 2 catalog, and these were delivered just a few weeks ago here in August of 2023. Now, they offered four road names, Alaska, like you see here. They also did Redding, Lehigh Valley, and New Haven. And incidentally, these were offered on the opposite page in the catalog from the really cool Lion Chief Plus 2.0 NW2 switchers. I did a review on one of those not too long ago. I'll put a link to that video in this video. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Those are super cool. <laughs> this thing is just so utterly adorable. I love it. I mean, there's really not much to show you. You can see it all. Got a little coal load there. Got a little speaker down here. This thing's not going to be very loud at all. And then we've got some switches. We've got Bluetooth on off, smoke on off, and then the run program switch because this is Line Chief Plus 2.0. That means you can use the Line Chief app on your smartphone or you can use TMCC or Legacy or soon Base 3 to run this thing. <laughs> Looks awesome. Got two crew figures in the cab. Nice detailing for something so small. And it actually does have a pretty good weight to it. It's all die cast metal. Very little plastic on this thing. So let's get some stats on it. So lengthwise, we're looking at, well, without the couplers, it's about seven and a half inches. With the couplers, you're looking at about nine inches. And let's see what it weighs. You wouldn't expect it to weigh much, but because it's all die cast metal, I think it might surprise some people. 
two pounds, 8.2 ounces. Not bad at all. And for something so small, two and a half pounds is actually pretty respectable. Now, I tested the pulling power of this thing off camera, and it maxed out at 13 ounces, which, if this was a big steam locomotive, that would be pretty lousy. But for something this size, that's actually not bad at all. And 13 ounces, that means you're going to be able to pull maybe 10 cars with this thing. So yeah, you're not going to be hauling some big coal train through the Alaskan backcountry with this thing. It's going to be doing light switching duties, which is what it's meant for. Now, I know some of you might be curious as to what it looks like on the inside of one of these locomotives. I know I was curious because this thing is so darn small. So I removed the shell and this is what it looks like. And as you can see, Lionel did a great job of cramming the electronics, the motor, and the smoke unit into this tiny locomotive. It looks really cool. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this thing. It's so small, there's really not much to show you. But before we start this thing up, it's time for... Okay, BFIMO this time around, again, a no-brainer. This thing is so cute. Like I said in the intro, this may be the most adorable locomotive I've ever seen in my life, and it's certainly the most adorable locomotive in my collection. All right, let's start this thing up. Now, I have to warn you that because of that small speaker that you saw on the underside, this thing is not terribly loud, especially when you compare it to other full-size diesels. So just know that it's not going to be terribly loud. Now I'm going to try to do some audio jujitsu in editing to make this thing as loud as possible, but if it's not very loud in the video, now you know why. Anyway, let's check out the whistle first. And you can adjust the pitch of the whistle, so let's try that. And let's check out the bell. And just like with the whistle, you can adjust the pitch of the bell. They give you five different pitches for the whistle and the bell. I'm just demonstrating a few of them. I don't know if you can see on the video, but there is smoke coming out of the smokestack, which is nice on something this small that they do have a fan-driven smoke unit. Anyway, here's a couple samples of the crew talk sounds. Yardmaster, all handbrakes are knocked off. Can I roll? Over. Pull for my clearance. Tower out. Tower, we're ready. Is it okay to pull? Over. All clear to move on to the lead. Yardmaster out. Dispatcher. And there are some additional crew talk sounds, but the locomotive has to be in motion for you to hear those, so I'll play those once this thing is running. And because this is a switcher locomotive, you do have couplers on each end, so if I close that coupler, I can fire it from the Lion Chief app or my TMCC or Legacy remote. Like that. And you can also use Lionel's voice command feature on the Lion Chief app, and you can tell the engine what to do. So let's try that. Go forward. <laughs> okay, before we move it out, I wanted to tell you something cool that happened in between the last scene and this scene. I was attaching cars to the locomotive for the running shots, and I thought, okay, let's see how many cars this thing can pull before it starts to struggle because I had said earlier that I thought it would probably pull about 10 or 12 cars at most. Well, this thing surprised me. It didn't start struggling until it got up to 20 cars, which is pretty impressive for something this size. Now, I'm not going to run it with 20 cars today because I don't want to overtax the motor or the traction tires. I'm going to run it with a dozen cars, but I thought it was really cool that it was able to successfully pull 20 cars. This thing has some spunk to it. Anyway, let's move it out.
All right, so there you have it. The new Lion Chief Plus 2.0 Alaska Railroad 060T steam locomotive from Lionel. This thing is just great. I absolutely love it. It's got die cast metal construction, so it's built like a tank. Great operation. What's not to like? And you know what? This thing just reminds me that this hobby is all about having fun. And this thing encapsulates that spirit all in one little locomotive. And it also serves as a reminder that you don't have to spend two or three thousand dollars on a vision line locomotive in order to enjoy this hobby. Good things come in small packages as well, and this is the perfect example of that. Now, if you want to pick one of these up for yourself, regardless of which road name you get, the retail price is right at 350 bucks, which is a little higher than they used to be because of inflation. But even at that price, I think they're worth it. This is a great little locomotive. And don't forget that that's the retail price. If you go through a good Lionel dealer, you should be able to get a decent discount off that retail price. And as always, if you're looking for a good Lionel dealer, try my favorite train store, which is Legacy Station. You can find them on the web at LegacyStation.com or give them a call at 770-339-7780. Lastly, if you'd like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That can be done through Patreon at patreon.com slash ericstrains. Patreon supporters get access to all sorts of perks and benefits, and you can read about those benefits on my Patreon page. I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means the world, not only to me, but to the future of this channel. And an extra super big thank you goes out to my premium tier Patreon supporters. You'll see their names listed at the end of this video. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. That's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.